Magazine dropped out with every shot, sent back to Ruger twice to no avail. Car Thompson Repro. Even with the shorter barrel and pinned comp, it was absurdly long and stupid looking. Plus, changing out a drum mag was a ridiculously stupid process requiring three hands. Plus, assembly was a finicky process that was also a giant pain in the ass. Plus, the recoil spring was super stiff and half the people who wanted to shoot it couldn't even rack the bolt. Plus, it didn't even fucking work. Failed to feed 25% of the time. Plus, even with Loctite, the stock would wiggle loose after 100 rounds. A truly tremendous piece of shit. Ruger PCC9. Legit awful trigger, can't fucking believe it's a single action trigger mechanism, feels like it was stolen from an early Smith & Wesson Sigma, extremely long and squishy pull, weighs a lot, somehow feels much heavier than it really is, shit ergos, feels like it was made from recycled interior parts of a 1997 Dodge Dakota, costs a thousand fucking dollars. These things suck ass, probably as much as the sub 2Ks, but at least the Lel Ks are cheap. Glock was certainly the least ergonomic pistol I've shot. Glock ergonomics aren't great, but at least they're built with normal human hands in mind. In terms of shitty ergonomics, pick related takes the cake. No human with even remotely normal hands can comfortably grip one of these things. It's like they made the grip from an AR magazine or some shit. I've got larger than average hands, and even I found the grip to just be absurd, which made achieving a proper and clean trigger press semi-impossible. I shot my brother's Phoenix Arms 22 pistol and it was such a piece of shit. It had like three safeties on it, so it's retarded to handle. The magazine won't come out unless the safety's on and the slide won't move unless the magazine's in and the safety is off. It gave me some slide bite and jammed every other magazine. This thing isn't worth the $140 or whatever it costs to get, even as a range toy. 